Seeing Joe Biden on TV yesterday talking about the hurricane, talking about how evil Donald Trump is, I began to wonder what our enemies thought because he is totally, totally out of it. He cannot handle the job. Listening to Kamala Harris, who cannot answer a simple question, you wonder what our enemies think, and you wonder what's in store if Donald Trump wins the election between now and his inauguration date. It's one thing to vote for a guy, you like him, you don't like him, whatever. Just think about what our enemies are thinking about the leadership of this country. And it's sort of a scary situation what we have right now because we have no president. I have no idea who's making the decisions. I think it's Barack Hussein, but who knows? And right now we're rudderless. All they're doing is throwing accusations at each other. In the meantime, our enemies are licking their chops. That's something to be careful about because we know with at least two million gotaways surrendering into the United States from their countries, their prisons, in our country, you know there's enough terrorists here to cause some real damage. Remember who let them in? We have a Department of Homeland Security head from Cuba. Remember the great Cuban boat lift where Cuba emptied their prisons? He knows all about it. He probably facilitated what's going on. It's amazing to me, at least if Donald Trump gets elected, the best thing he's going to do is to put department heads and cabinet members in place who are very, very efficient and know how to do their jobs. They have accomplished something. They know how to accomplish everything in the government area, how to have people work properly instead of what we have right now. Watch the Howdy Booby podcast on the Howdy Booby show on YouTube. Truth, justice, the America way. God bless you. God bless America. I wish the people in Florida all the, all the luck, the good fortune in the world. What a horrendous thing. I live in Buffalo. Winters are terrible, but you can shovel snow. You can't shovel water. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Make sure you vote.